Happening today, a second former Columbus Zoo executive faces possible prison time. He's being sentenced for his role in a scandal that cost the zoo millions of dollars. Mike McCarthy is live to explain who's headed to court. Jessica, today the focus is going to be on a man named Tracy Murnane. He is the former director of purchasing here at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, and he now faces a maximum punishment of eight and a half years in prison. In his job here at the zoo, he was in charge of buying a variety of goods and services, including vehicles. He has now pleaded guilty to eight counts, including felonies for grand theft, forgery and filing incomplete false and fraudulent tax returns. Prosecutors say Murnane abused his position in a scheme with other zoo executives for their own personal benefits. Court records show that involved Murnane hiding the sales of his own vehicles to the zoo, along with taking a cut from inflated prices paid for vehicles bought at auctions. Murnane's defense attorney also says he knew it was wrong when he helped buy an RV for the former CEO's personal use. Murnane has already paid back $90,000 in restitution, and his lawyer points out he helped prosecutors in this case and the zoo itself in their investigations into these crimes. Murnane's lawyer also argues those other zoo executives played bigger roles in this scandal that did cost the zoo more than $2 million. Former CFO Greg Bell has already been sentenced to three years in prison, and former marketing director Pete Fingerhut, along with former CEO Tom Stoff, have each pleaded guilty to more than a dozen felonies. They are currently awaiting their sentences in their cases, though they face the possibility of much more time in prison. They might go behind bars for decades. They are set to be sentenced at later dates. Again, today, the focus is on Tracy Murnane and will be in court when he faces a judge later this morning. We're live on your side this morning at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. Mike McCarthy, good day, Columbus.